What's up my love bugs and love muffins? It's Mama Love and I am here with a cooking video for you all. I said that I was going to do the barbecue macaroni and cheese burger, but I added bacon to it. So I guess I will call it the barbecue macaroni and cheese bacon burger. I think I'm doing too much y'all, but I'm just so excited about this because this was like in my mind. And also I did go to a restaurant. I forgot what restaurant it was. I think it was, I want to say Cheddar's. Cheddar's had the macaroni and cheese burger. Um, but I'm just doing a little bit something different. I bought some sweet baby rays, you know what I'm saying? And I'm not going to indulge it. I mean, in there because I never, uh, had barbecue macaroni and cheese. So what I'm gonna do is like drizzle it, you know, like a cake, maybe just make the mac and cheese and I'm gonna like do maybe a, a square of it and see first. And like, you know, just like a design, like drizzle it across the top of the mac and cheese as it's on the burger and you know with the bacon and everything and i didn't buy um like lettuce tomato and onion and all that type of stuff because i figured that burger was going to be too busy you know and it's my first time trying it so i just want to you know get the taste out of it and everything like that and not try to confuse the taste is what i'm trying to say so i didn't already sat here and mixed up uh season my uh hamburger meat my ground chuck and i got my noodles boiling because before i do this ground chuck and friday's burgers and friday's bacon i want to make sure my mac and cheese is completely done um i also thought about putting bits of the bacon over into the mac and cheese while it was baking but i'm not sure i think that's too much too but you know i don't know i just it's just experiment you know what i'm saying it's gonna kind of kind of be loaded but everybody don't want bacon so i think i'm just gonna fry that separately but anyway i got my noodles going and everything i'm just so excited y'all i'm just so excited because i just i don't know off the top of my head i just wanted to never try barbecue macaroni and cheese you know what i'm saying so you want to put it with something i didn't think you know it sounded like a two of a a bad idea because you know when you grill in your barbecue uh burgers or whatever you know you got your sides you got your baked beans and you got your mac and cheese you know and i just figured you know why not put it together you know the mac and cheese whatever and um see how it turns out so i just want to let y'all see what i'm doing i got my seasonings in there of course y'all know i i love my garlic and onion powder and i got my black pepper and lori seasoning so i, I don't want to like like overdo uh my seasonings and stuff and my meats and stuff like that so um yeah stay tuned okay y'all this time when i prep my mac and cheese i did not add an egg this time i didn't want an egg in it all i did was simply added my um my half and half my cream my stick of butter um the thing of Velveeta cheese and I added mozzarella cheese. So that's all I'm adding to this cheese sauce. I made a small pan. See a small pan? Just a small pan. We're, just, we're scooping these on burgers now. And there's the bacon. Fried up all pretty. There's my big old fat buns over there. And next we um just gonna be frying up the burgers. So this is my mac and cheese. There it is. I'm, I'm going to um, crunch this bacon up over in it. Um, Y'all, this is the first time I've done this ever before. Crumble bacon. This bacon smells so good, y'all. I think it's that maple. Watch them crumb. I'm loving the gloves, y'all. I, I didn't crunch off one of the. I didn't crunch off one of the bacon's. I didn't take the bacon. Look how that look, y'all. That's bacon. Bacon. All right. Okay. So I said that I was gonna pour it over in my sauce, and I'm scared, y'all. I'm scared, but I can't be scared to do this. Okay. So, but I'm gonna put it in. But this is a sweet baby raise. I'm gonna squirt it over like this in the mat yes i'm doing it I'm, I'm a daredevil i did it y'all i'm gonna let that do it i'm gonna mix it up oh lord jesus i prayed over you this you think it should be more let this turn no i'm i'm, I'm starting out just figure if y'all want some more y'all add some more to y'all top of y'all burger um i don't want to overdo it you know what i'm saying uh, i want mac and cheese but I, I want barbecue you know i want the barbecue taste i want the mac and cheese with a barbecue taste 
you get what I'm saying, if that makes any kind of sense, okay? Keep it right there, hold it there. Okay, because now I'm coming over with the sauce. And I told y'all, inside my sauce, I did the Velveeta, I told y'all, I repeat myself. I said I wasn't gonna do that in videos. I repeat myself a lot, but. Velveeta cheese and mozzarella cheese with my cream of half and half milk. There's a sauce. Yes, I want a lot of it. Because I want it to be cheesy. Yeah, your mac and cheese ain't good if it's not cheesy. Got, oh, yeah, you know, I, you know how I am with the cheese, baby. Gotta have it. And that's gonna go in the oven. Remember what I said about the last mac? No cheese, no mac. Macaroni goes on unloved without the cheese, right? Remember? Ooh, that look good, y'all. Come on, rest of it, baby. That's the rest of my sauce. No clumps of cheese over in that. That's all right. That's still gonna bake in there. There's that the side just gonna be even more cheesier. Besides, it's only blended together. I oh, know the clump though. No, it's just a little slight. It's a little slight clump. It's like mm -hmm. as if little, because it's mozzarella was uh, the shredded. It's the Velveeta that's. You think like the cheese like drowned it out the barbecue sauce? No, not at all. I could still see the barbecue. Uh, see it? Yeah. I put I, I put a nice amount. Remember, this is not a big uh, church family pan. Now this is going into the oven and uh, this is going to bake probably about, I don't know, 10 minutes because I don't want it, you know, I didn't put no eggs in it. I want it to be loose, you know what I'm saying? And then I'm going to go on to fry my patties. So hang on in there. We're going to see how this turned out. Just had to change my gloves right quick, but I want y'all to know. Here go my patties. Ain't they pretty? It's pretty patties. One for you. One for you. Three for me. One for you. <laughs> Nine for you. All for me. Uh, yeah, well, hold on. Where is the bag show up? Oh, here it goes. Gotta get the spatula. Count Dracula with the spatula. Make sure your patty's got enough room. You don't want them close together kissing each other. Kissing up, quit pushing up on him. Get off of him. Stay your tail over there. It would be nice if I could get one in the middle. That way I only got a fry. Let me see, maybe I can. Oh, I'm trying to flatten my patty. Let me see. I did what I told y'all not to do. Yeah, I got enough on. I don't wanna, yeah. So that got six in there. That means I got six more to fry. And that's gonna do it. And when I pull it out the oven, you guys are gonna see, go down in history, the barbecue macaroni and cheese bacon beef burger. <laughs> the bacon burger. It's gonna go down in history. Mm -mm. Ooh, look how pretty them baby frown. Frown, baby. Frown, baby. Frown, baby. Oh, 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 oh. Frown, baby. And you don't want to fry them too long. Because, um. <laughs> Jesus! I don't want no, um. I don't like no no burnt burgers. Mm -mm, I can't get with that. It'd be nice if we could grill outside, but Atlanta has been raining. Supposed to rain all week. I don't know how true that is. Y'all will be showing a video of, um, I'm already in transition, um, moving. Some things is packed up in the sitting room here. Yeah. And I just got little stuff I left out because most of my appliances is put up, but you know, 
and uh, things and everything is taken off the walls, the pictures and mirrors and just stuff for this big couch here. Mm -hmm. So when a moving company come, I can just, uh, my mirror, I love the way they wrap that. My big bedroom mirror. It's a ram wrapped it, but yeah. Pictures and mirrors and pots and pans and I left dishes out. Am I gonna get emotional when I leave Atlanta? Of course I'm gonna get emotional. I'm gonna get emotional. Uh -huh. Mark's gonna be excited though, once I head home. <laughs> and uh, I wanted to uh, have everything hopefully ready for you all once I touch bases. I wanna be in my new kitchen standing with my apron on. Um, I did go another route with the apron because I got held up. Well, they didn't appreciate that, but supposed to Ben had those aprons. You all know that I went to Michigan and in April, I had went to my cousin and asked about the aprons and wasn't a ghost. So I had to go with somebody else that's gonna work with me and then know that I'm serious about my business. I'm, I'm really serious. Also, I'm five giveaways. I've decided five giveaways on the apron. Five giveaways. And the giveaways are gonna be to the names that I mostly see. I've already spotted the names, y'all. The names that I mostly see in my comments all the time. Those are gonna be the five people that I'm gonna choose from. Please do not get offended if your name is not picked or whatever. Um, it does not mean I overlook you. It's just meant the five main that I always see, you know. And um, that's what I'm going to go by. So, let me get my burgers before I burn. You can, I, I taste tested this, this Mac. Oh my God, y'all. You can see the slight barbecue in the, just in the Mac and cheese. But there's the, there's the bacon and Mac. Oh my God, y'all. I'm, I'm not lying. Look at, look at me. I'm not lying to y'all. <laughs> Look, here's my plate. I took a corner of it out. It don't make no sense. Throw the top up off the barbecue sauce, okay? Across the room, y'all. It don't make no sense how good this is. So y'all gonna see me making these burgers? My hands are clean, I don't have the gloves on, no. Um, I'm putting the burger. Now my burger shrunk. Don't be laughing at my burger. Kick y'all butt. Start out with the six because I did make them. I think the last batch I kind of fried hard. Everybody don't want um, onions on their stuff, so I just cut them up and put them to the side. But I don't want to take from this, y'all. So I'm gonna scoop this. There it is, see there? I'm scooping this now. I, I wish I had an ice cream scooper. I tasted the bacon in it and I tasted slight, slight, uh, I ain't wasting no mac and cheese now, bump that. Okay, so I gotta put a little on here because I don't want this, this, this spilling over to the bun. Yeah. Like I said, it's my first time, y'all, so don't, don't be like, why'd she do that like that? If it falls off to the side, that's all right. It's on a napkin. You go back and pick that sucker up and tear it up, okay? Because the mac and cheese is just the bomb.com, y'all. Yeah, as you can see, I'm spilling it. It's all on these burgers here. And I, I, like I said, they can add their own barbecue sauce to this or more, I mean. But I, the way I put it in there, y'all saw me put it in there, it's just the right flavor. It's not too much. And you can taste it. Look at that mac and cheese, y'all. Look at that. Look at, ooh! My God. Why can't you put that mac on there like that? Because I want it like that. Like that. Okay? Make sure everybody got mac and cheese on in the bird. Now, some, like I said, like Terrell, I know my son, he likes sauce. Tina want to add ranch to hers. And that's the ones I started out with. They can all open the top of that. Would you like barbecue sauce on the top of yours, son? So I'm gonna take the sweet baby rays. Okay, I don't wanna take away from the taste that's already there. So I'm gonna just do a little. And y'all can go back and add what you want. But oh my God, y'all. 
and they can add what they want on there. Like I said, I'm just gonna put, and I just want to, I just want them to bite into these burgers. I was waiting on Tina. I don't know what Tina was doing, but those are the mac and cheese. They are not dry burgers, by the way. Cause this macaroni and cheese with the bacon in it, with the barbecue, it's just like, it's just so doggone. It's just the moisture of it. Look at it, the texture of that mac and cheese. That's mozzarella, y'all. That's mozzarella, uh, half and half, and Velveeta. That's what we got. All right, y'all, so the kids are like, oh, I'm in the video. Do I gotta be in it? So I'm gonna sit on the other side of the table. I was sitting on the other side of the table to get their reactions to the, in the refrigerator. Like I said, Tina want ranch on hers. Uh, I want onions on mine, so I chopped up some onions. Oh, I want some too. Some onions. I'm gonna put some onions on it. And I got a little, a little, here it is, y'all. Lord, I thank you. My God. So they said it's good. I'm saying it's awesome. All right, I just wanna let y'all know, it turned out to be, man, that mac and cheese by yourself, y'all. Oh my God, mm, mm, mm. It turned out to be a winner. I just wanna say, be blessed. Try this recipe at home, it's good. Especially y'all barbecue lovers. Peace out in Jesus' name, be blessed.